Okay, so I wanted to uh, change gears a little bit. And in your writings, you talk a lot about the importance of diversity, right? So, so what is the connection between diversity and innovation? Uh, in other words, so why do we say that diverse teams are more innovative? Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> there's this thing. We have two, two different questions, but uh, uh, answering to your first question, explanation it seems to be simple. Uh, you know, uh, technology uh, becomes more complex. Uh, everything takes more time. So now people take longer time to become an expert in, in, in any particular field. It's, it's not often to have someone who is expert in two fields and forget about you know more. And that's that's by itself, but but the discoveries, the breakthrough innovation happens at the board of different disciplines. By itself, it, it drives the need of creating multidisciplinary teams. So so the concept that diversity of knowledge, experience, skills, uh, networks is important for innovation is nothing new. What is relatively new is the realization that social diversity, diversity of uh, gender, um, race, sexual orientation, age, is equally important in creation of this whole body of diversity. And um, now, and there is there is multiple multiple uh, examples of uh, of, uh, of 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 this trend showing that diversity in executive teams in innovation teams diversity of uh, race um, gender sexual orientation drives better results. Now, why uh, why uh, in a diverse team are more innovative? Well, it, it, it seems that um, not, not only they bring different experience, uh, expertise, skills, that is, that is given. They bring different point of view. They bring different perspectives. The uh, presence of outsiders on a team forces team members to reassess their assumptions. It makes life of, of innovation keeps actually more difficult. No question about that. So people have to be better prepared to, to defend their point. But in this kind of, you know, maybe a little bit tense intellectual discussion, you just get better results. Yeah, I wanted to uh, kind of uh, go back to one of the points that you made. Uh, so, uh, for example, we have the, the group culture, right? And then we have the company culture, and then we have the national culture. And then when we talk about, uh, you know, diverse teams and let's say we're working with people abroad, so they have their group culture, their company culture and their national culture. So we have like at least uh, six different cultures operating at the same time. So and, and you explain in your writings a lot about, you know, the importance of uh, cognitive diversity. Yeah. But what kind of advice do you have for companies that not only, you know, it's not only diversity within, well, uh, diversity without or device, diversity abroad. So what kind of advice do you have for companies that actually are multinational and they work with different cultures, you know, different nations and different teams? Yeah, well, I, I, let, let me come back to this in a second. But what I'd like to say is that uh, so many companies actually realize the, the importance of diversity, of the social diversity. Uh, and... Uh, and they, they decided to get this diversity, to, to create this diversity. But unfortunately, it's almost, almost kind of a new jerk reaction. Uh, they created quotes. And so now many tech companies, actually Google, Facebook, I worked for one company that had the same quote. They publish actually their yearly report on how they achieve diversity. And somewhere they eat, you know, half a point. We now have, you know, 1.2% of more people in this position. Yay, well, we achieved a great progress. Uh, I'm not saying it's, it's bad. I, I, I'm saying it's, it's, uh, it's long, 
very tedious uh, process. It will take long time. But organization already have some diversity, actually a lot of diversity, given given our you know global global environment, already has a lot of diversity within their ranks. First is cognitive diversity. Cognitive diversity actually is is still not very well research point, but the one that is getting more attention. People with different types of thinking already diverse, already can bring more uh, to your team. And then we have again uh, cultural diversion and national diversity. Uh, I'm not exactly an expert on international aspects of diversity, but I, I definitely have my my own uh, own point of view. Being essentially, you know, a a a, a foreigner in two countries where I worked um, you know, in France and the United States. Um, just uh, the good the good point to start is actually is to learn uh, cultural um, specifics, cultural features of people you work with, and that is that is that is being being open to other people' opinion, be, being respectful to other people' opinion, which is actually nothing new, right?